Hey guys, this is Ray for Phone Arena. Today I'm doing a benchmark video comparison featuring the new HTC One X, the Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy Note 5.3. Uh, this benchmark comparison is actually gonna be very interesting because the One X here is actually the first phone on the market to feature the new quad-core Tegra 3 chipset by NVIDIA. Uh, on the other hand, we have the Galaxy S2 here with its very powerful dual-core Exynos processor clocked at 1.2 GHz. And finally here on the right, as we said, we have the Galaxy Note and it's also running the dual-core uh, Exynos processor, although it is clocked here at 1.4 GHz. So, uh, let's start by running a Quadrant Standard Benchmark. A great application to begin our test with. And I'm just gonna run the test on all three devices and we'll fast forward the video a bit and I'll just show you the results at the end. And here are our results. Uh, the first place goes to the HTC One X thanks to its a very powerful quad-core chipset at 48, 48 points. Second, we have the Galaxy Note uh, with its 1.4 GHz processor at uh, 3876. And uh, on third place, we have the Galaxy S2 uh, with its score of 3113, which is, of course, a great score, but uh, apparently uh, the handset is uh, not as fast as uh, the 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 One X and the Galaxy Note here. The Note is actually doing pretty good job with this uh, with this benchmark, although it also seems to be unable to compete uh, with the new uh, quad-core power of the One X. Next up, we're gonna uh, test the handsets using the N22 system benchmark. This one. Uh, kind of benchmarks the whole system as a whole uh, and not just the graphical uh, performance of the devices. So I'll just launch this uh, application on all three devices. And again I'm uh, starting the test. We'll test everything with this and I'll show you the results in a while. And there we have our results from the N22 benchmark with a devastating win. We have uh, the HTC One X and its incredible result of 11,024 points. So it's a great achievement uh, for both HTC and NVIDIA um, to, to have this uh, kind of performance. Then we have, on second place, we have the Samsung Galaxy Note with 6,409 points. Um, still pretty respectable, but nowhere uh, near as good as the HTC One X here. And third, we have uh, just uh, a bit behind the Galaxy Note, we have the Galaxy S2 with its uh, score of 6078 points. So remember that uh, we are actually testing the whole system with this benchmark. We're testing stuff like uh, RAM performance. Uh, integer and float point operations, 2D, 3D graphics, database inputs and output and uh, so on. So pretty much this is this should reflect the performance of the whole uh, system. Next up we're actually gonna move on with uh, a benchmark test which is a bit more graphically oriented and this is Nanomark 2. Here's our test and again I'm running it on all three devices and we'll come back in a while. So in this first round of the uh, Nanomark 2 uh, benchmark we actually have a very surprising result. Uh, first here ranks the Galaxy S2 with a result of an average uh, frames per second rate of 51.4. So it's a great achievement this one considering that it's uh, quad-core opponent the HTC One X which we have here has scored of an average FPS of 46.9 so about uh, 5 frames more for the Galaxy S2 here and third comes the Galaxy Note which has an average result of 
8. Now, uh, we'll actually run this test one more time uh, just to make sure that these results are adequate. So, I'll get back from here and I'm launching the test once again. And there we have our new results. Again, this time we have the Galaxy S2 win uh, with an average FPS of 51. And then we have, uh, rather close behind it, we have the, the HTC One X with an average FPS of 47.4. And third comes the Galaxy Note with its uh, result of 40.9 uh, average FPS. So we think that we can actually attribute this win um, to the Galaxy S2's lower resolution display. Uh, we shouldn't forget that it, its display is still at uh, 40, uh, 480 by 800 pixels, whereas the HTC One X has an HD display, so it takes a lot more horsepower to achieve such a great performance here uh, with this type of quality display. So um, this was a quick benchmark test between the HTC One X, Galaxy S2 and Galaxy Note. As a whole, as we saw uh, with those tests which uh, concern the, the whole operation of the system, uh, the HTC One X is a clear winner with its quad-core chipset and uh, also in those tests the Galaxy Note also performs better. Uh, although slightly better compared to the Galaxy S2. On the other hand, uh, when it comes to purely graphical stuff, uh, well, the, the Galaxy S2 obviously still has uh, the upper edge thanks to its uh, lower resolution. This was Ray for Phone Arena. If you'd like to learn more about these awesome handsets here, you can check us out anytime at phonearena.com.